everybody welcome back to the channel it's a busy one today it's corn silage day the guys started chopping here about uh, half an hour ago and I'm way behind we had a little bit of a setback this morning with milking we uh, were almost done and all of a sudden all the machines fell off what the heck's going on all right there is your culprit our vacuum pump decided to poop the bed this morning so Make quick service call, the guy zoomed out, slapped me this shiny golden on there, and we got back to milking, so it's now 8.30 in the morning, we're done milking finally, trucks are rolling, so let's head outside and see where they're at. Alright, so the guys just got started making the pile here, so this year we're going to make a pile and a bag, and the aim with that is just with the pile to hopefully layer the good and the bad corn, and then send truckloads of the good corn to the bagger. So the bagger hasn't quite showed up yet, but the guys just started packing here, so We'll get some action as the day goes on. So this year we're buying 25 acres worth of corn silage off a neighbor. So what we gotta do for that is we gotta weigh the trucks. So what we're doing here is uh, we got some weigh pads and uh, they weigh each axle of the truck to get a weight. When they pulled in the yard, we got a weight full. Now we're getting a weight empty and that way we know the average weight per truck. And then each driver keeps a log of how many loads they did in that field. So we can get a total tonnage on the end. Let's roll forward and weigh one axle at a time. Come on, ride that clutch. There you go. It's a little finicky, guy, right in the spot, but that's what you need to do. So yeah, it's an incredibly busy day today. It's, uh, well, the milk can take longer because the vacuum won't break down and I gotta get cows fed. So that's all done now. Then top it off, we got the vet here today. We're doing herd health. So we just finished checking the cows in the barn and uh, that went very well. Had uh, quite a few pregnancies, so that's really good. So we're just gonna head over to the chute here and Christy Lane and our vet are just checking on some heifers. All right, so 42 is open. Let's see what 43 brings us. Also open. Uh-oh. <coughs> so I didn't do my job. Get a little drone action for you guys. <laughs>
nice corn there. This is a track pack. I've been told this is actually a prototype. This uh, this brand actually got bought out by JBS, I do believe. But uh, yeah, it's a 12 foot bagger on tracks. That is a humongous engine. That's a 500 horsepower engine on this bagger. So it's got big hydraulic drives on the side there. And that gives resistance to the tracks to slow it down to hold it back. So you don't have to have like a red you know, an old school bagger would have a cable and a cage on the end. You don't have to have that here. But yeah, that just, that, that holds it back to get pressure plus just the weight of the machine itself. And uh, yeah, bags are up full. This first 40 feet here is from uh, a field we bought and that corn was ready to go, man, almost two weeks ago already. So it's unfortunate we had to wait a little bit longer. You guys had a bit of an issue with that bagger a breakdown, but breakdowns are what happened, right? I mean, it's not perfect, so. But the rest of our corn we're chopping today, our own corn is still very green, so we're probably sitting in that 
68 to 66 percent moisture so that'll be real good for the bag and for the pile but uh yeah just keep going on here today keep chopping some corn and then we get out to this right just, <laughs> just soil changes and here we go it's just grubby short stuff and dry look how dry it is oh yeah amazing there's a little ear on that corn though but we did one of those uh those satellite imagery maps in this field the photosynthesis map we did that in early august and it was unbelievable you could see you could walk out to the field and you knew exactly where you were based on that map if the corn was tall that you're in the, the darker spots and it was you know, that shorter corn just wasn't using as much sunlight as the rest of it Oh yeah, keep it on, keep it on. Guys just pulled ahead here, they just finished the bag. They fill a 200 foot bag, so that will get fed next summer. And yeah, just keep piling away, piling away, piling away. So they use this big cloth here and tractor here to, to push up and pack with, or sorry, just to push up with. And switch over to that big magnum in the background there to do the actual packing where the duals on it helps them pack the sides a little better but uh yeah just keep on out of here uh, this feels a little bit rough too yeah, for sure we, we broke it up last fall and it'd be a sod hay field for oh, i don't know how many years so we broke That's it up not the worst one i've been in no and we did one just east of Steinbeck one year, you know, last year. What was this year? Spring, that's what it was. Oh my word. It was chiropractor after that day. Really? Oh, it was rough. No matter where you went, it was like going over deep tillage. It had never been used. It had just been deep tillage. Yeah. Well, we, so I we sprayed this dead with Roundup. Right. And then I went over it uh, twice with a heavy offset disc. Yeah. And uh, like so one's on an angle and one's on straight just to kind of cut those clods a little bit and let that dry down for two weeks and I hit it with a speed disc okay, to try and break it up even more. And it looked not bad. And we seeded the whole field here to fall awry. But I told the guy who was seeding it, he had two drills. He had a disc drill and a hole drill. And bring your disc drill. Well, he stopped by the yard to tell me he just finished seeding and he was pulling a hole drill. Oh boy. And so he he had pulled up all those quads that were kind of the speed tiller had leveled. Yeah. And oh, what a mess. So I came back out here and I rolled the whole thing to try and make it a little bit nicer. It's like we're full. And you might make it to the end. Here, plowing here is a little tricky because if you get, get going a bit too deep and get greedy, you'll just pull up nothing but pure beach sand. Like we said, this was cattle pasture for a couple years, uh, and I, uh, I I lost a cow here, so I buried her somewhere over there. Okay. And I dug down about eight feet with a loader, and it's just nothing but pure sand, there, like, like as if you're at the beach. So yeah, the duels in this tractor help them to pack the sides just for stability. But uh, you've got extra wheel weights on there and that great big weight in the back. So even though there's duels that would normally help you spread out your weight and more rotation, that tractor has a lot of pounds per square inch in that pile. And that's what we need here. That's the whole purpose of pushing up the pile here and driving on it so much is just to squeeze all the oxygen out of that feed to help it ferment properly. If we leave the air in there, it will just spoil. So uh, yeah, James is just going back and forth and back and forth. It's a very monotonous job packing corn silage or packing silage in general, but uh, it's such a crucial point because you do all your, your years planning, you, uh, your fertility plan, you pick the right seed, your planting dates, you cross fingers for rain, and if all things line up and it comes to this step here, you're gonna do a bad job of this, it's all for naught. So uh, it's very, very, very important just to and keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and pack that silage down the best you can.
Hey, it's the next day now. How's that drone footage? Did you guys like that? I want to send a big shout out to uh, Sheldon Dubois, a local friend of ours came out and uh, took his drone up and got some real good footage for you guys. So that's something we want to add to the channel. We want to get more visual aspect of what we do. So I hope you guys appreciate the drone footage and uh, maybe more in the future. But who knows, right? But yeah, second day and we are still chopping. Um, we have a good problem on our hands. The corn is yielding a lot more than we thought it would. It's doing about uh, four tons to the acre more than we anticipated. So when we did our original planning, Kate, we were gonna make a pile this size in the yard. We're gonna fill a 200 foot bag because uh, we have the 25 acres we bought from the neighbor. That all on paper should fit there. Well, where we are now in the bale yard, the feed yard, the pile is actually longer than we anticipated. It's right from, there's a little swale over there and right to the fence back there. It's, uh, we're full up with the pile. We're as wide as we can go for our plastic. There's a bag from yesterday. That thing's all the way full. So what do we do with the rest of the corn? Well, we didn't have any more room in the yard for another pile. So I called the guys at the shop. They brought out another 300 foot bag and we're keeping our fingers crossed that the, dish, the rest of the corn that's still left to chop will fit in that bag. That bag is gonna kinda sorta be in the way, but whatever, that's a good problem. We got lots and lots of feed now, so I'm very blessed for that. But um, yeah, this pile is now done. We're gonna leave it uncovered for two reasons. Uh, first, just in case that corn doesn't fit in that bag, we have to put four, five, six loads on top of here. It would suck, but we could do it. And the biggest reason is, I got no time. I gotta go. My sister Emma's getting married today, and I ain't missing that. So we're gonna take off and go to her wedding. Um, but yeah, the pile sit open for 24 hours. Not ideal at all, but that's the way life goes. You can't plan everything. We try to plan as much as we can and organize things, and sometimes just things go the way they go, and your plans go all to poo but whatever it is such as life so we'll catch up with you guys again tomorrow which would make it day three of corn and we're covering the pile alrighty day three shopping ended yesterday around 2 30 in the afternoon and we headed off to the wedding and this morning we got to covering the pile my dad came out and Chris Lane and the kids all came out to eight where the wind picked up and pulled the plastic over and I got a few bales placed and I had to quickly stop, feed cows, run to a family brunch, but uh, came back this afternoon, got the rest of the bales placed and yeah, it's done. And we got lots of silage, it's a good thing. So the bag, those are so easy to close. I mean, just throw a few bucks of dirt on the end, drive on it, kind of pack a little bit of dirt down, make sure the vent is open, the bag is done. So I did that with both bags. That took uh, six bucks of dirt. And then with the pile this year, we've put uh, bales all the way around. Something new we're gonna try. We've always done dirt around there too, but sometimes that gets a bit frozen and a bit tricky to peel off in the winter time. So we went with bales, cause well, so I saw the last video, we got lots of bales. Uh, that got a little bit finicky in between the bag there and the pile, just for space for the tractor to get in. But we got her done and uh, plastic is nice and tight. So it's done. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm gonna milk some cows real quick and then try and head in for an early Sunday night. Wanna end the video a little different though. You guys know the routine. Thumbs up, all that stuff down below. But how I wanna end today is my sister Emma and her husband Adam. Congratulations on your wedding yesterday. It was beautiful. So happy we could be there. The weather was gorgeous. You guys looked amazing. The kids were great. The food was good. Laughs were had, drinks were drank. We all had a really good time. So congratulations, enjoy your couple days off and uh, everybody else, we'll see you next time.